joining this demo of Extreme Cloud IQ, Extreme's cloud network management application. Today I'm going to be demoing the version that is available in the public cloud, but we also have versions that can be deployed in a private cloud iteration or even on premises on your site behind your own firewalls. So let's get started. Right now I'm in the Network 360 Monitor tab of Extreme Cloud IQ Pilot. I think this is a really great place to start to see exactly what's happening on your network. You can assess it pretty rapidly based on the color coding and the different categories that we've laid out across the top. And you can look at all of your global locations or you can drill down to a certain location if you wish. For this example, I'll move into a specific site and you can see that the scores across the top, which are actually health scores, those dynamically update based on the selection I've made in the location or the maps below. We've broken out into different categories, devices, clients, Wi-Fi, network, services, applications, and security. And as I mentioned before, those are color coded so you can very quickly see if everything's working well or if maybe you need to dive into one of those categories to make some changes to your network to make sure that it's performing optimally. But before we dive into those health scores, let's just take a look at the map below. I'm in an individual floor plan right now. I can see where my access points are located, if anyone's associated to those access points. And down below, I can see if there are any connected clients here. So we can see I have five connected clients listed out. I can see the health score of those clients, whether they're wired or wireless, and even some more details on who those clients are. Up above, I can look at a time lapse of clients. This is an interesting one. You can see different blooms on access points as people move throughout the facility and as they connect to different APs. This is really great for location tracking, making sure there's not too many people in one location of the building for current times, um, but also seeing if maybe there's some locations that are being underutilized or overutilized in terms of the network as well. The device trail over time, this allows me to track an individual device. So if I click a Bluetooth device and I click play up at the top, I can see their individual footfall traffic and path that they've taken throughout this facility. So that's great for more unique tracking of an individual device and all that can be done from this single interface. Now moving back up to the top into those health scores, let's click on clients as an example. This is gonna show me the client health. So of all the different clients that are connecting to my network. And those can be things like your traditional laptops, tablets, smartphones, more IoT focused or sensor devices. All of those clients are what we're looking at here. Up at the top, I can actually change the time range. I can do up to 90 days of historical data. I'm gonna go down to seven days for the sake of this example. And again, you'll see that the data updates based on that time period. So again, right now we can show 90 days of data, which is quite a bit more than you'll typically see in a cloud tool. And we're currently working on expanding that even further. So stay tuned for more news there. Down below, I have different categories of what's um, completing this 95 out of 100 score in terms of clients. And I can also drill down into things like the spectrum usage, where clients are connecting, channel distribution, maximum client capabilities. This is a really unique and interesting tool. This actually shows me what all of my clients are capable of achieving, not necessarily how they're connecting to the network, but their maximum capabilities. So in this case, I see most of my devices Clients are two stream capable, about half multi-user MIMO capable, half not. Most fall into the 802.11 AC category. But this is a great way to see if you're serving your clients appropriately. If I started seeing more clients popping up in this AX category, as a network administrator, that might encourage me to upgrade my wireless APs to serve those clients effectively. So that's the client health score. Let's click on applications for another view. Again, I can change the time range if I'd like. I'll change it to a week for this view. I can see the time, uh, the application usage over that time, total usage in terms of bandwidth, the different application groups, and top applications 
over time. This is a retail facility, so there's a lot of people using Amazon app, Target, CNN, Apple, eBay, Hulu. So it looks like some streaming media, some shopping going on online. But again, a very quick way to see what's happening. Based on what I see here, I can even make some changes to the network, maybe to prioritize a certain application that I would like to encourage over others, or maybe rate limiting one that I don't necessarily want my users spending a lot of time on. I'm going to navigate back down to the map and show you the topology view very briefly. This one allows me to see the hierarchy of all of my access points within the network, how they're connecting to a specific switch, back to a router, out to the internet. So I can get a lot of interesting information here in terms of what these connections look like, but then also if there's any uh, clients connected to any of these devices. So I just clicked on one of those green links to show the mesh connection between an access point, one of our atoms that plug into a power outlet, back to a switch. I can bounce a port on that switch if I need to. I can see the port info, the speed here. So just more details about what that connection looks like. And if I do the same thing for another access point, I can see that this one actually has clients. So again, I can see the health score of those clients, whether they're connected currently or disconnected, VLAN probe, alarms happening. So again, a quick way to assess what it looks like, what your um, devices, your infrastructure devices look like, how they're organized within the network. And that's from topology view under network 360. From here, I want to navigate, if I click on Extreme Cloud IQ, this is going to take me into one of our dashboards. Again, I have the ability to change the period of time that I want to look at, but this is another great way to quickly assess what's happening in terms of application usage, wired and wireless clients, access point utilization, maximum numbers of simultaneous connections over time. So a lot of ways that you can move throughout the network and gain the access that you're looking for. There's also the ability on quite a few of these tabs to create filters on the left-hand side. So things like filtering by OS types, network policies, location, device function. So again, we show you the top level information. If you wanna drill down, you can do that. You can even create saved filters that would apply across pages as well. You might've noticed as I'm moving through the pages, there's different hyperlinks. And I can actually click on any of those hyperlinks and it will oftentimes open up another tool. In this case, I'm opening up Client360. This shows me exactly who this client is, what type of device they're on, their MAC address, where they're connected, even in terms of their location, a mini topology view of what their phone is connected to in terms of the access point, switch, router, it looks like it's VPN back to a head end location. And then on the right hand side, I have detailed information about this client. So I can see their usage, RSSI, noise floor over time. Again, you can see the consistent ability to change a time range. And then below here, I can see session details or usage information. And this comes with a handy tool, some comparative analytics on the right hand side, which compares things like this user's RSSI to other people near him on the floor, his signal to noise ratio, Wi-Fi health. So we're taking other data of nearby clients and comparing and contrasting performance to allow, again, a network administrator to quickly see if something's going wrong or if everything looks like it's functioning appropriately. Down below, I can see a client trail, again, color-coded, so I can see that everything looks like it's going well. If I wanna drill down into more information, I can do so from this. And then down below, I'll see things like his overall network usage in terms of applications, what his client can achieve individually. Again, this tool is called Client360, and you can access that by clicking on a client hyperlink. I would get a similar view if I clicked on an application that would open up application 360 and so forth. Let's move on to the configure tab. We'll move into some network policies to show you an example of how easy it is to get a network up and running from this cloud management application. And if I go into the uh, CSC Mart local for this example, I'm going to show you that we have wireless switching and routing set up from within the single policy. Let me show you a wireless SSID. 
This, I can set up the broadcast name, the authentication that I would like to utilize to get my clients on the network, private pre-shared key, want to give a quick shout out for that one. It's a patented technology that Extreme offers, which allows each unique device to get a individual credential to the network. Uh, everyone doesn't share the same password, so you can track users a lot more granularly and have more control over what they're doing on the network. Down below, I can set up a radius server if I'd like to, user access settings. These are user profiles, which again allows us to further restrict traffic even under a single SSID. If I move through this configuration portal, I'll show you a switch template and as an example, we can do everything for access points, switches, and routers from within this single pane. If I move over to port configuration, I can change port details. I have a more visual look of what this switch looks like. You can create templates and then further apply those across multiple devices. It's totally up to the administrator. Same thing for a router setting. I can click on a specific router, change any port details that I need to, configuration, advanced settings, a lot of different ways that I can interact with these different devices. Um, again, hundreds of choices that you can make if you'd like to get down into the details, or you can quickly get a network up and running in a matter of minutes, all the way to deploy policy from this configuration tab. Wanted to point out quickly that network administrators will have full control over all of their networks and devices. Extreme will never push out a forced configuration update or firmware update to any of your infrastructure devices. That's completely managed by you as the user. We move into manage over to devices. There's a lot of different choices in here, and for the sake of the, the demo, I'm just going to show you the devices, but I can move through these different categories under Manage, and I'll get similar information to what I'm going to be viewing here in the device portal. Um, in the view, I can see all of the different devices that are connected to the network. Again, I can set up filters if I want to quickly look for a particular connection state or audit status, you can do that through here. I'm gonna pull up a switch because we're working on integrating all of the Extreme Portfolio product lines into Extreme Cloud IQ. So I'll click on an X440G2 as an example. This is now a device 360 view where I can see exactly what device I'm looking at, the location, if there's any clients or alarms associated with this device. Right hand side, Again, more detailed information about the device itself. I can look up the clients that are connected to it, any diagnostics, associated events or alarms, a wealth of information that you can very quickly access at your fingertips from this device 360 view. And lastly, I'm gonna move over to the cloud view to wrap up. This is an interesting page that we've made available to our customers just to give a very quick and anonymous snapshot of some of our deployments in the cloud. You can see total number of PPSK users, managed devices currently, active clients that are utilizing our systems. Down below, I can see the management events per day or device updates that are occurring. Again, we're able to collect this anonymous data and parse through it, analyze it, and create more intelligent analytics and insights that we can then pass on to our customers. So this is where we're creating our machine learning type baselines, and we're gonna use that as a springboard to deploy more AI or artificial intelligence type applications and functionalities in the future. So we're really looking forward to that but this is the power of the cloud. We're able to collect this data, move through it, and hopefully make smarter and simpler networks in the future.